Hello, everybody. We're going to talk about what's new in AI for educators and content creators. There's so much happening. It's just amazing. And today we're going to talk about GPTs. So let's take a look at GPTs. I'm going to flip over to my GPT screen. So in the world of GPTs, the big thing that's changed is sharing. Also, the other big thing is it's, they are integrated with DALI and you get uh, beautiful imagery that you didn't get before. So I think it makes a big difference. So let's look at, take a look at the interface. So first of all, I can change models up here. I can see my, what you usually see in ChatGPT. I do have the paid version, which is $20 a month. And I can explore GPT. So let's start with that. Okay, so here's the GPT screen. You can see, um, actually the artwork's getting a lot better because this is integrated with Dolly 3 and Dolly 3's artwork is getting better. Um, I've These are some of the ones that I've done. Uh, I just did this this morning, Microphone Master. I have some up here. You can look at GPTs by categories, for example, education, and see some of the top ones. But what's new here is how you can share these. So if I go into one of mine, um, I can go into, let's say, the ones I did maybe even today. So Microphone Master. So let me open that one. And here's all, I can go ahead and edit it, but I'm not gonna do that, but it works really great. I programmed it if you wanna know about making these, um, you can go on edubators.net and join our network and uh, I write class, I just wrote a class in a new video just today about an update to making custom GPTs. So it has some initial questions. What's the best microphone for podcasting? And it gives some of the most popular. In fact, the Shure SM7B is the one I use for my recordings. And I asked it in the program to add, add the frequency response. So you do see that coming out. So it's pretty awesome. Um, I can have it read back to me, copy it, or regenerate that answer. Or I can ask different questions. But let's go through the new sharing stuff. So in there, um, there's I can share the chat. In my GPT, if I go back up here, um, maybe I want to edit it. If I edited something, which I'm not going to do, but I wanted to get to the share screen. So in the share, this is what's new, and this is great for educators you can share with people in your workspace. So maybe it's just my students, or maybe it's people just at edgevaders.org, um, or I can share it to everybody. So right now it's at the GPT store. So if I was doing this for my class, I might just give it to anyone with the link and put it in my Canvas shell, which is where I teach uh, and I have online information. So, or invite only, maybe just I'm sharing with a few people. In my case, I did share with everybody, so to the GPT store. Maybe you make a workspace that's for your class um, and then you can share it with your workspace that way. So generally I would say if for teaching you'd be anyone with the link. It's kind of like sharing your Google Drive information. So you can make a GPT about anything. Um, you can make one, for example, people in history, um, something about math, physics, uh, famous writers, um, artists. So whatever you think up and then share it um, as an educator. So that's new in, in uh, the world of GPTs. So one other thing I wanted to share is what's new in Claude. So let's look at Claude. Uh, I'm using the free plan. This is one that I'm probably gonna upgrade because I use it uh, more times than you're allowed to use it a day for free. But what's new in here is artifacts. So if I just say, make a game, that is colorful and fun about music you can do do this about anything so and let's go ahead and do that what it's going to do is create this game and it's going to make what's called an artifact or a demonstration of what that's going to look like so there it is writing code for that game of course i can go and reprompt it and have it do other stuff but this is new um, it's a great way you, i can share this with my class oh that's really neat so obviously I need to do some more. Oh, it looks like what I'm supposed to be doing is clicking on these musical notes and what whatever my score is. So uh, so it needs it needs some work, um, but maybe I could reprompt it. So 
make this easier and include facts about music, musical facts. So and then I'll rewrite this and give me a new uh, artifact. So of course, if you're a programmer, you can put the Python into another screen and you can put this on the web. But for those of us who aren't programmers, um, this is doing it for you and you can test it out. There you go. This is much better. Which instrument has 88 keys? That's obviously a piano. So the next question, and I can say make 20 trivia questions. So I can do this in any subject. I can have, um, things that are like, let's say light cycles following around or like a uh, whole entire game. It just depends how much time I want to do with prompting. So artifacts are the new thing in Claude. They're pretty amazing. Uh, they're super fun to share with students or have them make artifacts themselves. So I get the preview, I get the code, I can regenerate, um, I can share these out, publish, download to a file or copy the content. So very easy to share and share a link within, for example, a canvas shell. So that's what's new in Claude and Artifacts. We'll have a lot of new stuff coming your way in terms of making lyrics, music, videos, how it integrates with Canva AI and their recent purchase of Leonardo. We'll go into that. So stay tuned for more episodes here at Educators. <laughs>